Uh, this is a floodlight comparison. The flood on the left is a rainbow flood. It's running on a $6 DMX decoder, running through the color cycles. It's positioned about five feet away from the garage, um, off to the side, because I think most people keep their driveways open. Uh, the flood on the left is the Holiday Coro flood, also running on a $6 DMX decoder. It's positioned in the same spot, just on the opposite side of the house. Um, again, about five feet away. I'm shooting this video from the curb, uh, which is 35 feet back from the garage door. And as you can see, my house is a difficult house to flood. Um, we have stone, we have dark shingles above, and I have a brown door with dark brown trim. So comparing the two, you know, they're both about the same price point. Um, maybe a little less for the Cora one. And by the time you add control for the rainbow, they're, they're at least comparable. Um, at least in this setup, you know, you can kind of see the, the comparison. These are both running uh, straight 12 volt direct current. Um, have each one of these on their own 10 amp power supply. So I didn't want either either one being affected by the other one. Let's go and <coughs> walk up here a little bit closer. And you can see the uh oh the coral flood in its stand. Rainbow, which is quite a bit smaller. And back again, the total wash. I'd say the rainbow is more of a spot. Um, it's definitely brighter on the spot that it's at or that it's on. Um, but the Coro is more of a flood. Uh, it's a little wider angle and it's a little more even in its coverage. Um, I'm not sure how much the video is, is doing that justice, but I'm shooting this just on my iPhone. So it is what it is. If you want to see more, uh, come to Ham this summer in Kansas City the first weekend in August for the floodlight RGB floodlight battle royale so you can see I think just about every one that's that's available uh, for sure all the DIY solutions uh, I don't know yet if we'll have a CCF there or not that's it